Have you ever wished your clock started rotating backward when running out of time? <laughs> that would be a blessing, but it would be a mess if Mother Earth overheard your request. That may sound upsetting, but what if the Earth started spinning back? Do you really want to take that chance? Here's what if and what would happen if you got a chance to live in a reversed Earth cycle. By the way, what is the point of such a thought? Yi Yang and Zhao Dong Song, a pair of researchers at Peking University's Sinoprobe Lab at the School of Earth and Space Sciences, conducted a new study that surveyed the innermost sanctums of our planet with seismic waves. According to this remarkable research, Earth's solid, hot, iron ball-like inner core has recently paused its spinning and may now rotate in the opposite direction. Though it sounds like the plot of an alarming catastrophic movie, let's not get in a fluster and check out the details on the matter and listen to expert statements. Reportedly, roughly 5,000 kilometers below the surface, the Earth's core resembles a planet within the planet and can spin independently as it floats in the liquid metal outer core. Until now, little information suggests that changes in the inner core can result in any effects on surface inhabitants. But according to the researchers, there are physical links between all of Earth's layers. As attested by the researchers, the last rotation shift occurred in 2009, and before that it happened in the early 1970s and the next one will take place in the mid-2040s. It was this amazing discovery that led to such a thought. So let's start with the Earth's story briefly and find out why did the Earth start spinning in the first place. Let's go back 4.5 billion years, when the Earth was born to answer this question. Our solar system is formed out of a nebula, the gas cloud. At this time, copious amounts of dust and gas were moving around in a circle, coming together due to the force of gravity. As it all massed together to form the sun and the planets, these new celestial bodies started to spin then what caused the spin to speed up? According to sources, a rotation of the Earth took less than 19 hours, around 1.4 billion years ago. It suggested that days have become much longer since the Earth's formation. As stated, when you make a spinning object more compact, it spins faster. Similarly, when the rocks on the cluster of dust and gas started coming together, the Earth spun faster than it used to. But why does the Earth continue to spin on its axis? Theoretically, a spinning object will keep spinning forever unless you add or eliminate energy. For instance, the spinning top spins off with the energy supplied by your hand, and gradually it comes to a halt when the energy drains out due to friction. In the case of the Earth, only if there's an incredible amount of energy can it slow down its rotation even a little. Since Earth is not spinning on the ground, the question of friction and slowing it down cancels out. The absence of air outside our atmosphere also offers zero resistance to its spinning speed. That is why the Earth has continued spinning for a long time. In which direction does our Earth rotate over time? Our innocent Earth has rotated in the same direction as the Sun for billions of years. Earth completes one rotation around the Sun on its axis every 24 hours, running from the North Pole to the South Pole. As measured at the equator, the Earth is spinning at a rate of about 1,670 km per hour. Scientifically, the rotation direction of Earth is termed prograde, meaning west to east, which appears counterclockwise when viewed from above the North Pole. According to NASA, except for Venus and Uranus, this theory applies to all other planets of our solar system. What are the consequences of Earth's conventional rotation? It's only because of the rotation of the Earth that we are experiencing the diurnal cycle of light and darkness, temperature, and humidity changes in our daily lives. It gives us a day of 24 hours. Earth's rotation provides us with the concept of direction based on sunrise and sunset. The Earth's rotational speed has affected its shape, causing the poles to flatten and bulge at the center. Rotation leads to the creation of standardized time zones. It generates tides twice daily due to rotation, winds and ocean currents in the northern hemisphere will be deflecting to the right and vice versa in the southern hemisphere. Now let's get to the answer to that question we're all scared of. What if Earth got bored and wanted a change in direction? Is there any difference if it spun the other way? As far as one can judge, the immediate effect of Earth's reversal would be that we will be waking up to a sun in the west. Is it as simple as it sounds? This may seem like an absurd scenario at first, but scientists have performed simulations for a backward spinning Earth because it is a great way to test how well we can model our planet and be prepared to face the after effects. So let's imagine we have a big red button, and presto, the Earth calms down to swap its direction. Everything would follow the Earth and fly towards the east. So the entire process will create a huge mess. If the Earth starts spinning in the opposite direction, all the air currents caused by it will reverse from their current path. The Earth's rotational force drives ocean currents and weather patterns, and as a result of this rotational twist, these effects also reverse their flow path, causing drastic changes in the weather patterns. For example, if George Miller plans to shoot Mad Max 2 in the Sahara, or California deserts, his team would end up stuck in wet mud. On the contrary, the Florida swampland would dry out. Another horrifying effect is that the fertile agricultural lands might become unfit for crops. 
Areas that have received good rains will become parched and deserts with good showers will bloom. There will be a huge variation in the physics of launching spaceships and satellites into space. Thus, a change of spin direction can cause major problems to our lifestyle and economy. Thus, a quick answer to the scary question is positive that the reverse spin would make the Earth much greener. Well, that's more oxygen for us. And in detail, this new rotation would change winds and ocean currents, shifting the planet's climate entirely. Since oceans work as a global climate control, distributing the sun's heat all over the Earth, they divert moisture from the driest, hottest boonies and carry rainfall to thorny jungles. The change in rotation reverses global and wind patterns, bringing temperature changes to the subtropics and multi-latitude continents. Western zones will cool down as eastern boundaries get warmed up, and winters will be significantly colder in northwestern Europe. On the simulation made by scientists, AMOC, the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, the ocean current responsible for dispatching global heat was missing from the Atlantic Ocean. However, an identical and slightly mightier current has evolved in the Pacific, which carries the heat into eastern Russia. The researchers have discovered that the modified sea currents in the Indian Ocean permitted cyanobacteria to monopolize the region instead of phytoplanktons, which they never achieved while the Earth spins in the west to east direction. What happens with the overgrowth of cyanobacteria? As we know, cyanobacteria are one of the first occupiers of Earth. The oxygen-pumping cyanobacteria pioneered photosynthesis and diversified the flavor of our atmosphere. Having so much more cyanobacteria on Earth could refashion the atmosphere even more, and it may cause oxygen levels to increase to the point where we struggle to exist. Wow, that was insane! Does spinning of Earth backwards mean we will all be doing everything in reverse mode? reverse walking? Although it sounds silly, we can't rule out the chance. But wait till you watch this video. Well, that's a story for another encounter. So let us explain those bizarre affairs of Earth in the upcoming videos. Inspire us with your comments and likes, and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in our next. Bye.